problem 7.9 states that a cylindrical specimen of a hypothetical metal alloy is stressed in compression. That means its length will get shorter and its diameter will get larger. So it states that the original diameter is 30 millimeters and its final diameter equals 30.04 millimeters and it says its final length is 105.2 millimeters so we need to find its original length. Now we're going to assume that it's completely elastic in all of its deformations, which means it can uh, spring back to its original shape after it loading. So we're also given the uh, elastic and shear moduli. So the elastic modulus is 65.5 gigapascals and the elastic modulus, sorry, the shear modulus is 25.4. gigapascals. You know, there's a lot of information that uh, really helps to know uh, how we can put all of this together. Now, um, with the uh, final diameter and the original diameter, we can find the change in the diameter and with all of this we can find the lateral strain not the strain along the axis where it's being loaded but the lateral strain along the diameter which is not being loaded but still changes we can use the moduli to find the Poisson's ratio. Now Poisson's ratio is equal to the negative of the lateral strain divided by the axial strain. So here's that lateral strain. The axial strain is the change in length over the original length. Haha! -ha. That's what we're looking for. We are looking for this original length. And this change in length is simply the final length minus the original length. So this is how everything's related through um, the Poisson's ratio. So let's go find it. First we need to have the relationship between the elastic and the shear moduli. So the shear modulus is equal to the elastic modulus divided by 2 times 1 plus Poisson's ratio. Um, since we don't know Poisson's ratio and we've got everything else, let's just solve for that. So we can rearrange this, put this on the left, this on the bottom, so 2 times 1 plus Poisson's ratio equals the elastic modulus over the shear modulus, and then solving for Poisson's ratio, nu equals E over 
qg minus 1. Now, Poisson's ratio is a good number to have, so we'll calculate that one out. And the elastic modulus is 65.5 gigapascals. 2 times 25.4 gigapascals, and all of that minus 1. And this ends up being 0 0.289. So that's really helpful. Okay, let's go to the relationship between the two strains. As we already stated, um, Poisson's ratio is negative the lateral strain over the axial strain. We have Poisson's ratio. We can calculate the lateral strain. We need to find the axial strain. So uh, let's solve for the axial strain is negative the lateral strain over Poisson's ratio. And don't forget that the axial strain is the change in L over the original length and the change in L is the final length minus the original length all over the original length and finally this is the, the lateral strain is the final diameter minus the original diameter all over the original diameter and then all over Poisson's ratio so we have everything here except the original length. So we can solve for that. And it's the final length over the original length minus 1 equals negative df minus do over DO and continuing to solve LF over LO equals I'll just apply this minus sign inside here so we've got DO minus DF over DO times new all of this plus one so you can solve for L O equals L F DO minus DF or DO times new plus one. Plugging all of these numbers in, so for final length we have hundred five point two millimeters and then um, 30.0 millimeters minus 30.04 millimeters over 30 
millimeters times 0 0.289 all this plus 1 the bottom one ends up with 105 0.69 millimeters is the original length of that piece in compression. So the total deflection of that was 0.49, about one half of a millimeter. This problem used the definitions of the Shear, or the relationship between the shear modulus and the elastic modulus, the definitions of lateral strain and axial strain, as well as the uh, definition of Poisson's ratio.